This gnome sighting comes out of Sancho Corral, Argentina, from 2011. Now, Argentina has been a source for many gnome sightings over the years, with many of the encounters being terrifying and frightening, saying that some of the sightings are of evil gnomes, that these creatures were malevolent and violent. That in 2011, Argentina had a rash of gnome sightings that were both violent and malevolent, with attacks on children and the elderly throughout the Santo Corral, Argentina area. These creatures were said to have attacked children while they were riding their bicycles by pushing them over and kicking and hitting them. Well, it was also said that the elderly was treated the same way, with some of the gnome's victims being beaten until they were unconscious. The gnome was said to be fierce and vicious with its victims. It was described as having a large pointed hat, with some reports having the little monster ranging from about a foot tall to at least a little over two foot tall which could mean that it was more than one of these things attacking people. While it also had what was described as elf ears, that they were long and pointed ears on this creature. With this creature being responsible for at least a dozen attacks on residents, the local police department was swamped with sightings of these creatures and their attacks. The police became so flooded by so many complaints from truly terrified residents that the local government and police department declared a state of an emergency and implored to the residents to stay inside at night. Well, that little report is kind of spooky. Knowing that the police and government wanted them to stay inside, Looking into this story is the only time I've ever heard of a state of emergency being called for a creature like this. So yes, that's kind of interesting to me anyway. Now this next sighting that's coming up is out of Argentina also. It's from the Santa Fe area in 2011. Wow, 2011 again. I guess that was a good year for the little known creatures, wasn't it? Now this spooky account comes from a couple that noticed their young son Benjamin, saying that he had started acting and behaving a little strangely, that the toddler would often be seen talking and playing with someone at nap time, with his parents thinking that the little boy must have just made up an imaginary friend. So it's not thinking much more about it, they kind of dismissed the behavior until one day in January of 2011, when the child's mother noticed Benjamin was playing and talking to something in the hallway, but that he was acting weird as if someone was really there. Benjamin's mother decided to video the behavior out of the curiosity. So she went and got the camera and started recording Benjamin. Now this is when something strange reportedly happened. When Benjamin's mother noticed a little shadow creature, saying that it was very skinny and humanoid shaped, while its skin looked to be gray in color, saying that this little creature ran across the room from behind Benjamin, looking as if it was trying not to be seen as his mother was filming. Now, while his mother did say that this creature gave off a horrible stench, a odor that she will not forget anytime soon, she also thinks that this creature gave off some kind of electrical interference, saying that it seemed to be interfering with the camera, which can be seen in the footage. Now, you can find the footage here on YouTube. It's under F. Real appears at Santa Fe, Argentina. That should bring this video up for you. Now, the family claims they are more than one of these creatures inhabiting their house. 
and that Benjamin has played and talked to these little beings over the years. The family says that these creatures are not evil or malevolent, but that they do have a strange and very strong odor to them. So you know when they are close by. Even though they are not hostile, they do emit a blood-curdling scream at night. Now with any footage that Skeptic says it's fake, and I don't know that much about CGI, but I think people are seeing something in Argentina that just can't be explained away, no matter how hard the Skeptics tries. All they think they have to say is it's fake. But I just can't find a reason why someone would want to go through all the criticism to report a fake story. I've seen people get shunned by their own families over saying they saw something. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And again, thanks for watching.